Are you ready for our new lesson today? Our lesson is about Visualizing and Multiplication of Fractions Hello! Good day. So today we will have our new lesson which is visualizes multiplication of fractions and multiplies fraction and the whole number and another fraction. Okay, so now let us visualize multiplication of fractions. Example natin 3 times 1 fourth. So meaning we will draw 3 whole number or 3 figures. 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3. And this whole figures, divide it by 4. Why 4? Kasi 1 fourth. So, every whole number or whole figure, we will divide it into 4. Then, on this figure, we will shade the 1 fourth. So, 1 lang, 1 shaded part. Okay. Oops. Okay. After that, let us count how many are the shaded parts. So we have one, two, and three. So three. Then ilang bang division every whole figure. So we have four. So meaning three times one part equals three fourth. If we are going to compute three times one fourth. Ang rule natin, kapag whole number i multiply sa fraction, we just multiply the whole number to the numerator. So, 3 times 1 equals 3. Then, copy the denominator, 3 fourth. Or, pwede rin naman, kasi ang whole number meron niyang imaginary na over 1. So, kung nalilita kayo, pwede niyong lagyan ng over 1, then numerator to numerator, then denominator to denominator. So, let's have another example, 2 of 2 third. So, we, 2 of 2 third meaning we will draw a whole figure, 2 whole figure. Then, from the multiplier 2 thirds, so we will divide it into 3 from the denominator of 3. Then, the numerator 2, so meaning we will shade the two parts. Then we will count how many are the shaded part. 1, 2, 3, 4. So meaning your numerator will become 4. Then 3. Why 3? From the division of every figure or numbers. So 4 third is a, in, an improper fraction. So improper fraction first we need to change it into mix. How? So we will divide 4 divided by 3 equals 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Your quotient will become your whole number. Then your remainder is, will become your numerator. And then copy the denominator. If we are going to solve this, 2 of 2 thirds, so meaning 2 times 2 thirds. So we just multiply the whole number to the numerator. 2 times 2 thirds. 2 times 2 equals 4. Then copy the denominator 3. Or third, same lang siya, di ba? So, or, nasolve na natin, 1 and 1 third. Okay. Our next example. How about kapag naman, fraction to fraction, 2 third of 1 half. So, ganito lang yan. We will draw a figure. Kunin natin yung pangalawang given, 1 half. So, meaning we will divide it into 2. Then, ilan naman shade? Ilan? One half lang. Okay? Oh, next. So, na drawing na natin yung one half. Let us change our color. Next, two third. So, kung vertical kanina, gawin naman natin horizontal lang shade. Ang pag-divide, two third. So, ilang division? Three. Okay? Oh, next. Ayan. Oops. Then, two third. Ilan lang yung shade? Dalawa. 
1, 2. So, i-double shade natin. 1, 2. Okay. Up, 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 up. Yung may double shade, lang yung nabibilangin natin. So, 2. Then, ilang division? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Over 6. Okay. 2 over 6 is not in the simplest form. So, we will divide it into 2, 2. Or find the GCF. So, the GCF is 2. So, divide natin sa 2. Oops. Yeah. Pareho, dapat i-divide natin. So, we will think of a number na kapag dinivide natin, both numerator and denominator, walang remainder. So, that is 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 6 divided by 2, 3. Okay. So, let us see. 2 third of means multiplication times 1 half. So, again, rule natin sa multiplication of fractions. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. 2 times 1, 2. 3 times 2, 6. Or 1 third. Okay, same answer, di ba? Okay, now let us try another one. 3 fourth of 1 half. Again, a whole number. Unay natin ang 1 half. So, divide natin per vertically 1 half. So, shade natin. Oops. Okay. Next, change tayo ng color. Next, 3 fourths. So, horizontally divide natin. Okay. Ilan? Apat. Yan. Next, 3 fourths. So, tatlo lang siya shade natin. Palang naman. Okay. So, tatlo, 1, 2, 3. So, again, bilangin natin ilan yung may double shade. So, 1, 2, 3. 3 over. Ilan ang subdivision lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 8. Kailan pa ba natin lawas term? Hindi na. Okay. So, let us solve. 3 fourths times 1 half. 3, numerator to numerator. 3 times 1, 3. Denominator to denominator. 4 times 2, 8. So, again, same answer. Next. So, let us multiply a fraction using the cancellation method. So, since marunong na kayo mag-drawing, mag-visualize, so we will only solve this. Hindi na natin itidraw. So, 8, 12. Yung of, tatanggalin natin, gagawin multiplication, 3 eighths. So, when we say cancellation, titingnan natin, gapalit tayo ng, uh, ano, oh, parang nagko-cross multiply. Titingnan natin yan kung pwede tayong merong i-divide. Between 8 and 8. So, cancel. Pwede natin siyang i-cancel since both divisible by 8. So, cancel, cancel. I'll change tayo ng color ng ball pen. So, 8 divided by 8, 1. Malit lang yun. 8 divided by 8, 1. How about 8, 3 and 12? So, pareho natin. Pwede i-divide sa 3. So, pwede natin cancel in, cancel. 12 divided by 3, 4. 3 divided by 3, 1. So, now, pinaliit na natin yung number. So, 1 times 1 equals 1. 4 times 1, 4. Paano po pag walang pwede i-cancel? Eh, di hindi tayo magka-cancellation method. Or, kung talaga nalilito kayo, pwede kayo mag-proceed sa ating way na multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, then lowest term. So, anong kakahalagahan ng cancellation method? It helps us not to lowest term kasi ang magiging sabit niyan, lowest term na. Okay. Let's have another example. 915 times 2 third. So, pwede ba, mayroon ba tayong pwede cancel? Yes po. Pwede nang cancel ng 9 at 3. Both divisible by? Yes, correct. 3. So, 3 divided by 3, 1. 9 divided by 3, 3. How about 2 and 15? Meron pa ba? So, wala na tayong pwede i-cancel. So, let us proceed. 
numerator to numerator 3 times 2, 6, 5, 15 times 1, 15. 6 over 15. Meron ba tayong pwedeng ilawis term? Yes po. May GCF tayo na pwedeng i-divide na 3. Okay. So, let us divide. 6 divided by 3, 2. 15 divided by 3, 5. So, our answer is 2 fifth. Let us answer another example using the cancellation method. Whole number with a fraction, so 10 times 3 fifth. So, 10 pwede natin yung lagyan ng over 1 para hindi kayo malito. Then, 10 and, over, and 5. Can we cancel? Of course, yes. We can cancel it. It is both divisible by 5. So, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Then, 3 and 1. Okay, wala na. So, we will multiply 2 times 3 equals 6 over 1. So, 6 over 1 or 6. Whole number 6. So, Sana naiintindihan nyo to. Let us remember, in multiplying fractions, to multiply, to multiply fractions, get the product of the numerators over product of the denominators. To multiply a whole number by a fraction, multiply the whole number by the numerator over the denominator. Or number 3, use cancellation net method if needed and reduce your answer in the lowest term. Ako ang inyong teacher, Carly. Huwag niyo kayo ang mga mga like at mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel.